Hello guys. In this video we're going to use some bit logic operations in a industrial process. We want to write a program to sort boxes based on their height. We'll use factory IO and PLC SIM in this project. OK. If you see this plant, we have a conveyor, control box and a pusher which will push the box on this conveyor. From here, some boxes enter the plant, and the conveyor move them. Boxes are small or large. Here a sensor which detect large boxes. So a small box will just go on this conveyor, but the bigger one will be pushed by this pusher on this chute conveyor. Well, how we can do that? First let's start with this plant from previous video to design new plant. From the left list, insert an emitter. Well, to change device's height, press V key on keyboard, and then change its height with mouse. Now right click and unmark these, just keep small and large box. Now let me move this control box. Now from the left list, insert a pusher. As you see, with this pusher we can push boxes. Also this pusher have two sensors. If the pusher is not extracted, its back limit sensor is on, and if I make it forward, its front limit sensor will be on. So this will determine the pusher is extracted 100% or not. Now insert a diffuse sensor. When a box with enough height appears in front of the sensor, it will send a signal to PLC. So with this sensor we can detect large boxes. Now I want to insert two chutes conveyor. Now insert two removers at the end of each chutes. Also, from operator menu insert an emergency push button and two green and red indicators.
Finally insert a warning lamp. Now right clock on emitter and here increase these times. Now, we need to write a PLC program. Let's start with this program from previous video. Well, we have some sensors and actuators, which must be connected to PLC inputs or outputs. First let me define suitable tags based on our used devices in the plant. From previous exercise, here are suitable tags for first PLC output and I0.0 .0 and I0.1 address. Let me start with push buttons and sensors which must be connected to PLC inputs. We have an emergency push button, which connected to PLC input with I0.2 address. Next is diffuse sensor which connected to I0.3 of PLC input. Next PLC inputs connect to pusher sensors. It's front and back limit sensors. Pay attention, when I'm defining tags, each tag in address column, automatically get an address which exactly is after its previous address. Based on your PLC wiring, if related device are connected to another input or output of PLC, we must modify its address in the column address. Well, pusher must connect to a PLC output not its input. So let me modify its address. Well Q0.0 has been used for belt conveyor motor, so I'll connect pusher to next PLC output. Q0.1. Also I'll connect other actuators to next PLC outputs. Now let's start programming from previous project. This program use start and stop push buttons to start and stop belt conveyor motor. In the next network, I use a SR instruction to turn on or off the pusher. But when it must be turned on. See here. As you know, when a large box is passing, the diffuse sensor will be on. But I want to push large boxes, when they have passed completely from diffuse sensor. So in the program I need to scan for negative signal edge of diffuse sensor. Also when the pusher front limit sensor give us a signal, it means the pusher has pushed a large box completely, and must be reset, to back its normal condition. In the next network, I write a program to turn on warning lamp and green indicator, when the belt conveyor motor is on.
I want to turn on the red indicator when the belt conveyor motor is off. So the indicator and the belt conveyor are inverse. So I use a negate assignment in this network. Well, my program is complete. Let me use positive edge of front pusher limit. If you remember from previous video, I need this block to use factory IO. Now let me launch my virtual PLC. Now launch factory IO. In file menu, click on driver. Now click here to connect factory IO to our virtual PLC. Now base on used tags and their input output addresses. Select and connect plant devices from factory IO to PLC inputs outputs. Now let's control the designed plant with the programmed PLC. As you see, with these green or blue lines, you can see what happened in the PLC program beside factory IO. Alright, exit from this simulation. I hope you've learned BitLogic operations. Now you can simulate some industrial process with BitLogic operations and PLC sim. Also you have learned how to use factory IO. In next video we're going to learn timer operations which are after BitLogic operations. Thanks for watching.